So, all right. Hey, we're back talking tunes, and Wait, we're you, here. Do you want to talk? Do you want to mention the the, the album cover? Which one? The, the, oh, the whipped whip cream. cream? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's. Oh, I do. Yeah, Actually, my mom had that I album. I still have that album yeah. cover. We Every, got it hanging on the wall. <laughs> everybody brought that, bought that album just for that. Just for that reason, yeah. The woman in the whipped cream. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, it's just like you with that with one song. What is it, Raunchy? That uh, by J- Bill Justice. Bill the album Justice on the front of that. The album yeah. cover has got this. The front a girl of a polka dot bikini on Nice. It. And the back of it is a picture of her backside with her bikini. <laughs> See, they oh wouldn't, my get away, gosh. You couldn't get away with that now. I don't no. That the, yeah, that's in the 60s, 50s, 60s. Yeah, Racist. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, there's that one I got in the 70s, too, that album cover that I yep. had. Yep. That long, who was that? The, 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 oh, oh, the yeah, centerfold. You, you always centerfold. You opened yeah. it up. Yeah. And then, of course, the my favorite is the Linda Ronstadt album that I can't think of at the moment. But anyway. Anyways. Beth is here, so we don't want to get too depressing. We, we well, can't you know. forget who we got here to talk. <laughs> I, think I, keep, I think I can keep up with you. Yeah, I know you can. I know you can. <laughs> so Beth Beeman is here from the Playhouse of White Lake. Yep. And it's uh, the newly restored Playhouse of White Lake. Mm-hmm. It was was uh, Hamet Theater previously right yeah for about 45 years yeah it was known and most people still call it the how met which is so fun and um you know we tend to call it the playhouse which is actually was known as the playhouse for longer over the period of of the history of the playhouse which opened in 1916 so um it was most most referred to as the playhouse right which is why we chose the name call it what you want but just come (laughs) yeah exactly exactly (laughs) yeah well i just like the lc walk arena i don't think i could ever not say Uh, lc walk arena either so yeah. Well, anyway. in a generation or two, they'll be calling it, is it the Mercy Health? Is that what it is Mercy now? Something. Mercy something. Mercy, yeah. So, you know. Mercy Gardens. <laughs> I don't there know you what go. it's called. I really don't know. Yeah. I, well, I couldn't believe they dishonored that name like yeah. that. I, to me, that was, mm, but I keep my mouth shut most of the time. No, you don't. Except yeah. you're on the radio now. Yeah. So. yeah right. He never keeps his mouth shut. <laughs> he don't know who he's trying to fool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know how many times his wife told him to shut up. But anyway. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> she has a little bit more than that. But anyway, um, the Playhouse. Let's get back to sure. that. Okay. So we, we missed Bohemian Rhapsody, of course. Yes. I mean, we wish we could have been there, but we missed that. But we're going to address um, Greg up in a 4-4. Four, four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not a 2-2, two, two, a 4-4. Four, a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. And uh, and you're dressing in the later hosen. I'm doing? No, he's doing the later hosen. Oh, okay. Oh, Paul, yeah? Paul's oh, yeah. There. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I get a, do we have to learn how to yodel? Well, duh. You don't know how already? <laughs> Come on. Do I a can, little yodel for me. I can do a good river dance. I can kick my feet pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah that, that's effective it, on air. Is yeah. it the same as your rain dance that you do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I could do that, too. That would really enjoy yeah. I probably would enjoy that, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she would. <laughs> I've enjoyed it many years. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's something that we're all going to do. We're going to do a, a stag night. I guess Greg's got a... Um, a uh, friend of his that has a limousine. So we're oh, gonna how pull fun. Up. That's right, yeah, yeah. We're going to pull yeah. up on a limo. This is what I'm told, anyway. So you're all we'll, official. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll probably see have to really let happens. you uh, park out in the loading dock with that oh. limo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> with the fish. Back anyway. door back door entrance. Now, what, I, I what, got, uh, what time do we start? What? T- uh, give me a t- What? The show starts at 7.30. Yeah. Okay. So you know you so might. So I still do... could be there a couple well, hours. You, yeah, you probably yeah. Have to, you'd have, yeah. have to be there at four though to get in the later holes and. Yeah. <laughs> get the Crisco. Get you. Get the Crisco. <laughs> yeah, get yeah. Pull those yeah. bad boys on. <laughs> Bring the baby oil. <laughs> we'll get you. We'll get you ready. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. Way That's all, all good. Place. Yeah. Um. As far as the. Uh, we're going to pull up in a limousine. This is what we're told. All right. I'm sure it's going to be Greg's minivan, but that's what he tells us is the limousine. <laughs> yeah, we'll He's just going to write limousine on the yeah, side. Yeah, on the side, yeah. Nice. Greg's limousine service or something like that. Again, or keep G- it classy. service or something, yeah. Nice. But uh, the hills are going to be coming alive with all of us over there. So. I'm I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that show is actually April. i got to look at the date for sure. It is April 4th. It's a Saturday, April 4th at okay. 7.30. So, right. yeah. So we have just to mark that down big time. Mark it on your calendar. And then, uh, of course, but you got all, all kinds of stuff coming up mm-hmm. this month. So let's, let's I do. We'll, let you just talk, and we'll shut up for a bit. Oh, God, finally. <laughs> no. It's... <laughs> Oh, I like this lady. <laughs> I know, right? I know. No, the Playhouse is super busy. We have about, I think it's 25 events between this coming weekend and June, the end of June. Um, so the Playhouse is is uh, busy all the time. 
Um, we actually are doing, um, we're in our third session of yoga on stage yeah. uh, with Cindy Beth Davis Dykema, who is a, a long name for an incredibly beautiful woman who we just, I just hired to work with me half time. She's doing our social media stuff and marketing okay. and I'm working with her, um, but she's an ama- amazing yoga instructor. Um, so last okay, time. Okay, wait a minute here. Stop. Yeah. I got to stop you. Oh gosh. Paul, she says she's an amazing, beautiful woman. Yes. And she has people up there on the stage doing yoga. Couldn't wouldn't you pay for to go up there? Yeah, just, yeah, you should yeah. do some yoga. Yeah. It's really yeah. good for you. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I eat it all the time. Yeah, oh, yeah. stop it! All right. Anyway, I'm oh, sorry. Lord have mercy. Go ahead. Go ahead. I thought, you, I thought y'all were going to let me talk. <laughs> I know. No, I'm just kidding. That's my fault. That's he me. started it. He just he, went there. He always liked mom best. I was anyway. going to say. Are, are we ready to say? I'm telling. <laughs> I'm telling mom. So that is on uh, this Saturday, uh, March 14th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Uh, it's $20, and half of the proceeds uh, benefit uh, the White Lake Youth Theater program, yeah. which is so part of the Playhouse. right now, because 10 oh. o'clock is when the show is. So yeah, oh, yes, of course. right now. Why aren't you there, Beth? <laughs> well, actually, because I, I'm not normally there for this show, oh, okay. uh, for that for that event. So, yeah. So I don't have to be there, which is pretty cool. We'll send Paul uh, down. Cindy, Cindy has uh, tickets, so it's perfect. She's got keys to get in, so she's all good. Um, so anyway, the other thing that's coming up um, on Sunday, that's tomorrow, March 15th at 3 o'clock, um, the White Lake D- Dramatic Club, which is a newly reformed community theater group. Um, there's about 30 members in the group now. Um, they're uh, performing a staged reading of a play called Molly and I. And what a staged reading is, if you, um, if you don't know what that is, it's um, actors have gotten together uh, for three rehearsals, and instead of memorizing the lines, they're reading, actually reading the play and acting it out um, while they sit and read the play. So it's really con- it's really fun. It's cool, um, it, and it's uh, a fundraiser for the White Lake Dramatic Club. Um, and this play by Frank Adams, uh, Molly and I, is just this romantic comedy that was actually written in 1909. And it was written by, uh, like I said, Frank Adams. And Frank was uh, a prolific playwright, uh, wrote uh, uh, screen, uh, he was a screenwriter. He wrote lyrics to plays. You could probably play I Wonder Who's Kissing Her Now, which was one of his um, most famous songs that he wrote. Um, Yep, do you remember that that show? Were you alive back then in 1909 when he wrote that then? (laughs) I remember the song. (laughs) Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. And and actually there's about five versions out there. They played it for him when he went to sleep at night. Oh, that's so nice. (laughs) So, but, but he, but uh, Frank Adams was one of the reasons the Playhouse was started. Right. And so he was the first managing director of the Playhouse uh, back in 1916. And we were gifted a box of his writings, his um, some of his lyrics and plays. And we found this original script uh, called Molly and I uh, that was written in hmm. 1909. So we are at, uh, written in 1912. So we're actually producing that in the staged reading. Now, did you find it right there at the Playhouse? Or no. was this from the Montague Museum? It uh, actually was gifted to us from a gentleman, um, uh, Pete Dam, who okay. is a collector, historian, um, and has all kinds of uh, wonderful um, you know, things from, from the area. And he gave me a box of things, and this was in it. Um, and so this is a re- original and almost like onion, like onion paper, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. typewritten. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's original wow. and so we took that and had to scan every page yeah. and uh, but it's an original script it's funny it's clever um and it actually was originally um a play then became a book and then became a movie in the 1920s huh. um so it's out there somewhere i haven't been able to find a copy of the movie called molly 1920s, and i 20s though wasn't that uh there was no, there was no talkies in 1920. There was it? actually, was um, okay. yeah. The, the talkies did come along around that time, but um, okay. a lot of things were silent films. So I don't know how late in the 20s it was, but that's okay. about the time that they became talkies. So, I like I said, I haven't seen this film yet. Okay, all right. So, so that, that, now are you and your husband going to be in this? this actually, film? my husband is directing, and he's okay. also reading the stage direction. So I'm not in the play at all. But her uh, husband has an awesome voice, so we should have him come yeah. over sometime too. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I'd lo- I can't talk like him. No, he does he? He does have a great well, I always voice. Say he sounds kind of like Bill Eddings, but uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if he was offended by that or not. Oh no, sure. Bill's got a great voice. Yeah, Bill he's, does have. A he great Chris voice. has a nice deep voice, and uh, mm-hmm. the funny thing is, my <clears> son, who's 28. Um, also has a great voice, and they our friends can't tell the difference between them when they're talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have a friend, Tim Wheeler, who um, is, was also a radio guy. Right. Uh, but Tim Tim often says that they share a voice, so one can't talk when the other one is talking because yeah. you never hear them speak at the same mm-hmm. time. Okay. So, but uh, now, Tim Wheeler, there's a there's a, a a name that is 
I, most people, I don't know if they really know him, yeah. but he's done some pr pretty phenomenal things here mm -hmm. in the Muskegon area. He has. You should actually have him on the show to I talk should, about yeah. Rocket Tunes. I um, have had him on the show in the past, well, yeah. other shows. Back in the day? Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, he's got this whole series of cartoons that he has created and written that are, um, and they're they're funny, they're clever. I've done some voice stuff right. for it, which is why I know about them. Right. But they're free to all schools. Um, and it's called Rocket Tunes, and they deal with things like, um, you know, uh, self-confidence, um, being assertive, uh, being picked last. Um, there are all these different things. I don't know if he's up to 16 or 18 of these cartoons, and they're available in schools. And I'm, I don't need to tell you all this because Tim could come and talk about it, but there's these cartoon versation cards that go with the conversation with, so the kids can watch the, the, the cartoons and then teachers and parents can use these cartoon versation cards to talk about what these issues are. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, they're really effective. I know he's partnering with a bunch of different organizations in the community um, to get these out there into the, into the hands and, and uh, kids and He's and very parents. creative, very creative. Oh, he's amazing. I Good mean, guy. Didn't we hear, so, didn't we mention something about Rocket Tunes here, like just lately? Um, my, In some of our conversations talking about. I mentioned the Rhythm Rockets, if that's no, <laughs> yeah, your thing. Rocket Tunes sounded familiar. It like could, be. Just yeah, heard it could that be. Yeah, it could be. It could be. It could Maybe be. Maybe Britta was talking about somebody, her or something. Yeah, somebody she might, yeah I think Britta does some work with Tim, yeah, too. Yeah, um, And I know Tim I'm sure is, she does. I mean, she's one, one of the great voices also oh, yeah. in Muskegon, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I know t uh, Tim is actually planning on doing a um, cartoon festival at the Playhouse in August. Right. Uh, at the end of August before school starts. So that's going to be a fun day for everybody in the community. You know, the, first, the first time I heard one of Tim's commercials that he did was back when he was doing the Hackley commercials. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were hilarious. And Absolutely he, hilarious. And he used, back then though, he used like, uh, like New York talent to do these commercials, I think, though, mm -hmm. back then. They were funny. They were hilarious. Yeah, they were just very funny yeah. stuff. And uh, I just heard one coming in, um, one of his on the on the radio. Oh, I, I think it was on here. Yeah, I, I'm sure it was because I was listening. Yeah. yeah, I think it was a Hackley Community Care. Yeah, it was oh, a yeah, dental. It was a here, dental yeah. uh, commercial, and I was like, "Oh, that's Tim's voice." Oh yeah. So he does a lot of work here in the community as well, yeah. and um, but he's he's just a good guy, and um, he's actually the chair, uh, the president of the Ch Friends of the Playhouse, our uh, uh, support group. It sounds like that sounds weird, but the Friends of the Playhouse, which are a group that do, does things to support the Playhouse. It's okay. not like you have to go there because you need support. And then you do the yoga playhouse. on the side. And yeah. you absolutely do yoga yeah. on the yeah. side. <laughs> okay. That's as, as we're moving along, I mean, I keep, yeah. I keep interrupting. No, you're good. You're good. So, it, so just to, to um, wrap around, back around to this. So Molly and I, the White Lake Dramatic Club on Sunday, um, this Sunday at three o'clock. So that's tomorrow. Um, and it's basically uh, donations accepted at the door. So okay. we're not, we're not doing a, uh, you know, a set fee for um, these and any revenue we get will just help to support the White Lake Dramatic Club. Anybody interested in joining the club can certainly contact us um, through the website. Um, and it's open to anybody who's ever thought about, you know, either being on stage, um, helping out backstage. If you're interested in learning about, you know, costuming or props or how you build a set, um, interested in directing, things like that, um, we invite you to come and be a part of the group. Um, it's we're, a, we're used to being backstage, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where I like to be, too. Well, I do miss, like I said, I, I've told Beth this many times that when I worked with Judy Johnson at the Civic Theater in Muskegon. I remember her name. Yeah, yeah and I used to work with her all the time mm -hmm. doing the audio work and stuff like that. And I, I do miss it, but sure. it, it does take a lot of a lot of time it does you mean you got to be there every every rehearsal and mm -hmm. all that stuff and yeah gee i'd rather do i'd rather do stuff like that than be on the stage oh yeah me, oh, too. Yeah. me too me too yeah. for one thing i can't read so there you go <laughs> <laughs> i can't act so <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> anyway um the next one so uh coming up just right after um saint patrick's day and it looks amazing in this office by the way i've been in here oh, yeah. twice and, and they yeah. go all Franklin out does here an awesome job yeah they, they go decorates. all out here you've got great uh you know happy saint patrick's day stuff everywhere um but on saturday march 21st we have Aoife scott and uh so the folks out there that are uh, fans of irish music will Bill recognize Marshall her name well, yeah. absolutely so Aoife was one of and it's spelled a-o-i-f-e and it is pronounced Aoife um, she was one of the headliners at Irish Music Festival this year, and um, she was just named uh, best female vocalist in Ireland. And she's mm. yeah, so she's super. And if you uh, you know go to her website and check her out, she's really great. So she's going to be performing um, at the Playhouse on uh, March 21st, along with um, 
Special guest Ben Bedford, who's a community favorite um, up there. He's actually out of Indiana, but he he comes up to the Playhouse uh, once a year and does a great show. He's a great singer songwriter, uh, historian, and uh, storyteller. So he's great. Okay. So that's coming up on March twenty one. All right, we'll get one more in here and then Absolutely. we'll take a break. Okay, and this is the one you guys were talking about earlier. Saturday, March 28th at 7.30, we have The Insiders, which is a Tom Petty tribute band. Here we're going. Um, and you guys absolutely need to come to that. So it's uh, they're also doing... Um, uh, a Buddy Holly tribute because the, the same a couple of the same members in the band, you know, do this as well. So they're going to kind of open with that, and then they're going to do the Insiders, you know, Tom Petty tribute. And this guy, uh, I'm, I'm going to blank on his name. It's Max Lockwood, um, is a lead singer for the band, and he sounds like Tom Petty. And they've got great energy. Um, check them out on their website as well. Because so. like like I've told you before, I mean, I've always wanted to see Tom Petty in yeah. concert, and never did. So yeah, it makes me sad. Yeah, it does. It makes yeah. me sad too. Yeah. So we got to go to that now. Now, as far as tickets, we can get them yep. through through their website, um, the Playhouse through, their, oh, through our through, website. Okay, yep. yeah, through the Playhouse at whitelake dot uh, org. Um, you know, it's the service that you'll go to is Thunder Ticks, and it's an easy peasy. You get your tickets, and because we got to do that before they go. sell out. Too. Yeah, you should. Because what do you got? What do you? How many uh, seats do you have now? Three sixty seven. Okay. Mm hmm. Right. So it's a nice size venue, um, especially for this kind of music. And you know, it's nice and intimate. There's not a bad seat in the house. No. Um, you know. I like that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's true though. I mean, like I say, when I, I can't hate to keep bringing up uh, a Peter Yarrow, but when I went to saw him, it was just it was amazing. Yeah. Except that the woman sang too loud next to me. But other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, see, I have to worry about my wife singing because she never sings. She oh, my gosh. Sure, sure, like, that, that always seems to happen it. to us. We get a ticket and go to a concert, yeah. and everybody stands. Nobody sits. And you stand up, and the guy in front of you is seven foot tall. You know, yeah. and then you can't see anything. Yeah, oh, yeah, that you, was you a just got to sit in the balcony. James Taylor concert. James I remember Taylor that. concert. Oh, I got yeah. some great tickets for the James Taylor concert, and we're sitting there, and there's we're, this guy seven foot tall right in front of, right in front of us. He oh, stood up the whole time. concert. It was like, oh, geez. Well, that's pleasant. Yeah, it was pleasant. Anyway. Uh, we did enjoy the big screens, though. We could see those. Yeah, you could see it. Between yeah. his head. Yeah. I love James Taylor. He's oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, I saw him. Great show. Yeah, one of my now. favorites, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw him with uh, with Carol King, and then I also saw wow. him. We, we saw him with Bonnie Raitt. Right. So, yeah, nice. Good stuff. All right, we'll take a break, and you, know, you got plenty more stuff that you're sure. got coming up. So Always. We'll talk about that, too. All right, talking tunes.